I'm talking with Ash Holmes of Spinlock at the RYA Dinghy Show about PXR Remote. Now, Ash, can you tell me what remoting actually is? Yes, of course. Uh, remoting is actually nothing new. It's been going on for a few decades now. Uh, people on uh, multi hulls have actually uh, been remoting uh, old PX um, by just attaching a small line onto the back uh, of the um, uh, of the case and then trailing that anywhere in the in the in the boat like a tripping line and uh, that enables them to be able to open up the uh, the cleats and to be able to release something so whether it's a halyard um, spinning halyard for instance um, and they can actually do that while still out on the side of the boat this isn't actually a new product it's a user modification to an existing product and where did it actually come from originally so again, it's come from uh, a number of different backgrounds. Um, generally, a lot of people uh, like to try and develop stuff and clean out their boats. Uh, we've seen it a lot with the uh, uh, with the bigger boats, the TP52s, and uh, they've been remoting our uh, XX clutch uh, inside the boat. So again, it cleans out the cockpit. Uh, they've got one tripping line to actually open it, and they be able to uh, and pull on the line uh, as normal. So uh, it works in a number of different applications. So we've uh, we looked at this and uh, realised it can actually work with our. PXR um, on smaller boats and it's something that's not really uh, out there at the moment it's kind of a bit more of an idea and uh, the great thing is it is just like a user modification so it's an off-the-shelf um, PXR and all you can do is just drill a couple of holes and um, we've got some instructions that you can download and, and that's it you can start remoting uh, anywhere in the boat it has a number of benefits you can actually hide away um, the uh, the actual cleats inside the boat, so uh, gone on the days of kind of sitting down and onto a cleat and really hurting your coccyx or uh, ripping your wetsuit. Uh, also has added benefits for the uh, uh, the hardware. We can hide them away, away from all the elements and, um, and prolong the life of the, of the product as well. And what applications do you mainly see it being used for? Here I see on this demonstration you put kicker, but what, what other applications on small boats do you see it being in use for? So uh, we've got two different versions we've actually um, we looked at uh, so far. We've got the full release and with that one, all you've got is the tripping line coming off the back of the case, and it just gives you uh, basically what it is, the full release. So that could be good, like we've talked about on Halyard. So if you want something like a mast lock um, and you want to embed something like that into the top of a, a rig, could be a cat, could be any boat, so you, um, you don't get the mast, uh, you don't get the pressure from the Halyard through the mast, uh, then you can actually uh, mo uh, attach that into the top of your mast and then have the tripping line coming down to the base. Um, that's for the full release. For the auto lock, um, all we've done here is we've just added in um, another hole into the actual cam and then, and then the end of the knot goes inside the cam. Um, and then uh, with this one, we've added a bit of elastic so it automatically locks back down again. So the benefit of this is when you, uh, you can actually put it into control lines, so Kicker, Cunningham, uh, which are your main ones. Uh, so when you're in like a skiff, for instance, you're fully trapezing, you get to the women mark, you want to dump the kicker and you're cunning them to get round the mark. The problem is you go in, your crew goes in to let it off and it disturbs the balance of the boat uh, just at the right, the wrong time really when you want to um, be able to uh, get around the mark and rock the boat the right way. So this enables you to be able to um, actually pull the line on and it cleats uh, so you can control it going upwind and then if you want to uh, release it you just got a tripping line coming out here and then you can just trip it and you can control the amount you can uh, release on that line you can go for the full dump uh, or you can actually control it out and like I say this can be um, this is just a line you can have a bobble on the end of this it can be attached into the system uh, this can be completely um, you know miles away from the, the actual application itself if you wanted to so for instance if you're on the kicker on a, on a kill boat uh, and the helm could actually have this tripping line coming out of this tiller extension um, to control the kicker so if he gets overloaded downwind he can do a full dump on the kicker so there's many different uh, places you can use this um, so the, end, the possibilities are endless really. On some of the more complex boats where you've got a bit of a string fest going on, this is going to make the ergonomics far simpler and look far more clean. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, the, the idea is we, you know, just like the big boats, we want to try and clear out the cockpit so it makes it uh, a lot easier to um, uh, to manoeuvre around the boat, so less tripping hazards. Again, you look after your own equipment, you're not sat on stuff, so um, it really does clean out the, the, the inside of your boat. And uh, again, you know, we're seeing people like the uh, the, the classes, like the, uh, the International 14s, um, people like the Merlin Rockets, and the development classes where they're not afraid to try new things, you know, starting to use this kind of technology and, uh, and start to push it forward. It's great to see yet another innovation from Spinlock, but this time on an existing product. Many thanks for your time, Ash.
Thank you, Mark. Thanks.